Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before or you're a subscriber. Thank you very, very much for subscribing. And if you're new, welcome to my little space. So I've got here the Magical Herb Oracle by Sherilyn Darcy, illustrated by Dear Dandy. It's not a new um, publication, it's been out a little while from what I can gather. It's a rock pool deck and 18 99 is the recommended retail price but I think you can get it cheaper than that now so a little disclaimer I am not in any way shape or form a gardener <laughs> I think I've made that clear in other videos um, but I think this deck will help me in in other ways and we'll get to that when we get to the guidebook but I've seen a few walkthroughs and the reason I bought this deck will hopefully become apparent when we have a little look at the guidebook. So I use an unpicker to um, to take the cellophane off boxes. It's a little trick I saw on Al Moon uh, 513, Racine, um, and it's a brilliant trick. It's, it, it's great for not damaging, especially damaging cards when they're in the cellophane. So yeah, you just pick right so a bit difficult with the tripod in the way I promise you it is a lot easier than using scissors so let's just take this bad boy out of the wrapper there we go I like the way it's got this tape on it like she's taken the actual flower press and pressed it onto the paper with a bit of with a bit of sticky tape that's, I think that's a nice touch but you can see it's not actually been pressed because it's 3d there so that wouldn't have worked but yeah and there's a key here so maybe that's a key to open the knowledge that plants or sorry herbs bring us I think that's a nice touch back of the box has got a bit of a blurb on it so you can pause the video and read that if you want I'm not going to waste your time reading it through so yeah just you can see that okay so let's get to the uh, it's a two-piece box hold on and it's got the little cutaways on each side here so hopefully, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> hopefully, get the top off. Um, oh, I think we're going. You see my other videos. You know what I'm like taking boxes apart. Oh, that's pretty inside. Isn't that pretty. It's like a nice mauvey colour with an impression. Don't ask me what herb it is. <laughs> that's nice, isn't it? Put that to one side. So we've got the book. We've got the book, which is how many pages? Oh, who's that? Let's see, uh, that's the author, Sherilyn Darcy. And that's the illustrated French, if I recall. Yeah, Celine Le Nise. Possibly. Also goes by the name Dear Dandy. It's 119. No. Yes, 119 pages on. Hey, Kali Bougie B. Yeah. So it's got a little imprint of the card on each page. Oh, so they look like pressed flowers a bit, don't they? It's very sort of antique looking. So I think what I'll do is I'll go through the cards and then we'll, we'll read an entry from the book. So there's 36 cards hmm. and it's got what each one 
represents in alphabetical order I think yeah so if you were looking for something about abundance you'd go to wild yam etc etc okay we'll have a look at that in a bit <laughs> usual rock pool download information the cards which are in a band and it's not that band's not too tight as well it's not damaging the actual cards sometimes those bands they do damage the cards I tend to take from the middle and I'm doing this and then the edges seems to come away a lot better when I'm doing that that way let's get rid of the band let's get rid of the box I don't mean get rid, do I? I mean put it to one side. Hey, okay. let's have a little look at these little cards. Okay, put them in the centre. So look, and then zoom in. Sorry about the camera shake. It's not me, I promise. <laughs> it's the camera. Oh, it's the tripod thing. I'm trying out a new tripod to see how it works. Technical difficulties. Boss. Okay. So we've got it's quite dark this you can see it there, look it said wild yam. But it's quite dark on the card. Come winter that might be a difficulty in this place because it does get quite dark here. Look at this, how interesting. It's got those those lines and dots that we saw in the unfolding path tarot if you look at the unfolding path tarot video i did it had emanating lines there and little sparkly dots that's interesting isn't it and again we've got like the tape that goes over the plant as if they've taped it down to make notes quite glossy cards not 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 too slippy though. Oh, they are slippy, but not as slippy as some I've got. Mm. Yeah, nice. Okay, so that was wild yam abundance. This one's acceptance, and this is. See what I mean? It's really dark. It's valerian. And again, we've got those emanating lines. There's a face there, look, 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 there's a face, the eyes are closed. Acceptance. I suppose when you accept a situation or a person's behaviour, whatever, then you go inward, don't you? Yeah. Activation. Oh, we've got cogs here make things go round and this is a yerba mate never heard of it I'm so ignorant where herbs are concerned <laughs> I'm not sure what country the herbs are from either actually if they're uh, I suppose they're from all over the world let me just have a show you the backs not pretty look at that we have a little bee here's your bee Got those emanating lines again it's got a very vintage feel very victorian type feel and then if you turn it that way so there you go it's a different picture is it a different picture upside down yeah not reversible then hmm so that's activation with the wheel cogs going round and round. Like in my brain when I'm trying to think of something. <laughs> Attraction, this is parsley. I know parsley. <laughs> you all know parsley. Attraction, so yes, a magnet for attraction. That makes sense. The awakening, we have golden seal. 
Oh, and the eyes are open now, so she has woken up. Or he. Not gender specific, but those eyebrows are nicely shaped. Make of that what you will. We have balance with passion flower. I remember passion flowers when I was at home. Smelt so beautiful. What have we got here? Oh, we've got scales for balance. Yep, makes sense. There are clues in the cards. Calm. Someone has built some stones like this in a, down at Trinance Boating Lake in the UK um, during the pandemic, actually. And I took a video of it. It was so calming just watching the water trickle by it. Beautiful. This is chamomile. So I know chamomile is good for helping you sleep and keeping you calm and relaxed. I do know that. <laughs> See? Know something. Hopefully know a bit more after I've worked with this deck. Change. Elder. Now, what I know about elderflower is elderflower wine and elderflower presse. Gorgeous. I used to drink tonic water, but then when I discovered elderflower, I switched over. So nice. There's a windmill there, so yeah, change. I suppose a windmill and change. A windmill can change grain into flour, can't it? So that's possibly why. Clarity and a magnifying glass. And this is bilberry. You can get one of those plant identifying apps, can't you? Might be useful. Especially this time of year when you know it's harvest time and all that. I, I saw a load of beautiful blackberries this morning when I took Kai out for a walk. Nice and ripe they were. Right, coltsfoot. What's the key word for coltsfoot? Cleanse. Okay. I thought we had an insect going up there then. But no, it's a folded leaf, isn't it? Cleanse. Hmm. So what in the... Oh, bubbles. Oh, I like soap, soap bubbles, yeah. Took me a while, got there in the end. Stay with me. <laughs> I generally get there in the end. Uh, we have communication and St John's Wort. And we've got a feather to draw with and ink and ink bottle. St John's Wort. Compassion Marshmallow. Compassion. She's got the hand holding the heart there. Inviting you to tell me your troubles. And I will listen with compassion in my heart. Oh. Courage we have. Motherwort. Know nothing about motherworts. We've got a couple of lions here. They look like um, heraldic lions. Creativity, and this is ginger. I just know I use ginger when I've got a cold coming with honey, ginger, honey, and lemon. My bold moment. Aha moment, creativity. Yeah, that's when creativity comes, isn't it? When you get the uh, aha moment. I know what I'll do. Yeah. The spark. Desire. Mm -hmm. Don't know what that says. Damiana. Desire. I mean, genie lamp. Rub that lamp and make a wish. And the genie pops out. Careful what you wish for. You usually have consequences. Detox, dandelion. Oh, now what I know about dandelion is dandelion and burdock. I'll keep going to uh, liquid associations here. 
Oh, I used to love dandelion and burdock as a kid. It's got such a distinctive taste. And it must be good for your bowels, because look, we have some intestine detox. See, detox is normally to do with the liver, so yeah, she's got intestines there. Interesting. Dreams. What do we have for dreams? California poppy. <laughs> What sort of dreams are you going to get with a cat with a poppy? <laughs> mm -hmm. And we have the moon to indicate it's nighttime dreams. Okay. Am I being really silly? I'm sorry if I'm being really silly. I'm just in that sort of mood. So endurance or lasting is ginseng. So what's that time? Time does that say? Two minutes to nine in the pocket watch. A long way to go then, unless it's night time, don't know. Could be daytime, night time. Endurance, ginseng. Okay. Enthusiasm, still. Enthusiasm. So if we got in the background, there's a look. It's that. That's supposed to be like a shooting star or something. Answers in the comments. No idea what that's supposed to be. Expansion is oh dear. F F E No. F E Dra. Probably butchered that. Keyword expansion, so I suppose branches are all expanding outwards. Glow, so we've got a tide, a tidal wave. Ginkgo, pretty. These illustrations are gorgeous, aren't they? They are absolutely gorgeous. We've got Brahmi for focus. It's got binoculars. Hope we're not getting too much glare off these. Freedom, the bird has flown from the cage. And this is my gort. So each of the flowers have got this circular motif on them. Hmm. That's a motif going through the whole deck. This is sage for guidance. I suppose the other word for sage is wisdom. Guidance. We've got a lighthouse guiding us into shore. Harmony is hawthorn. And we've got, oh, what's that called? Oh, Fibonacci's, oh, it's sacred geometry, it's, uh, it's Fibonacci something. Again, answers in comments. <laughs> Fibonacci, hmm, have to look that up. Healing, oh, okay. Cannabis. I could tell you this funny story about cannabis. What's that? Oh, is that a joint? <laughs> or toilet roll or kitchen roll? What is that? No idea. I won't tell you the funny story about cannabis. <laughs> it on to myself, but it was funny. Right, meditation, skull cap. And we've got some clouds. So we've got our head in the clouds. <laughs> I'm watching Sandman at the moment. Oh, on Netflix. It reminded me of that. It's a good show. 
could see it was open. Yeah, right. Here's the key. The key to unlock the knowledge contained within. Yeah. Do you know, I have a problem identifying meadow sweet. Um, because we've got lots that look like it around here, but I'm not absolutely sure if it is meadow sweet. And the and the other, the what the other alternative is is pretty nasty stuff to be avoided. Can't remember what it's called. Is it skull cap? It looks very similar to meadow sweet, but it's not good for you. Anyway, what's this one? Progress. Oh, Ellie campaign. Ellie L. Campaign, El Campan, El Campagne, don't know. Pretty. Progress, oh, we're going up the ladder to success. We're getting somewhere anyway. Up that ladder, even it's only to clean the windows. So I'm being silly again, sorry. It's the heat, it's gone to my head. Okay, protection is echinacea. See, I can say that, echinacea. And the reason I can say that, yes, when you get a cold. Or well, when you think you're getting a cold, get that echinacea, don't you? Else. So we've got the lock. So I wonder, so that's protection. I wonder if that key card, which one was it? Open. We've got the key in that one, and we've got the lock in that one. Protection and open. Hmm. Those two came up in a reading together. Well, quite interesting, mightn't it? How pretty is that? This artist has done a beautiful job. Beautiful job. Purification burdock. So that'll go with dandelion. <laughs> dandelion and burdock, see? Purification. So we've got some smoke going there. Is how we cleanse our desks, our decks, desks, our decks by passing them through incense smoke. Burdock. Radiate, it's turmeric. We do use turmeric. That's good for us all people. Radiate, so yeah, it's all radiating, radiating out from the plant, all these. Lines radiating out. Very pretty. Reflection, lemon balm. <gasps> Do you know? I, ha I did have some lemon balm. And it lasted for years and years and years and years and years. And it smelt divine. Just rub, rub, rub it and smell it. Oh, it smells so nice. Yeah, reflection. So we've got a mirror for reflection. Quite obvious. Repair, we've got comfrey. Comfrey pants. Oh, we've got a spanner. <laughs> hmm. Pair of things with those tools. Soothe, slippery elm. We've got a tincture tea. Made from slippery elm. Mm -hmm. There is a definite reflection here, isn't there? I can see it. Never mind. Stimulates. Guarana. Guarana. So it stimulates the brain by the looks of that, because there's a brain there. Okay, so those are the cards. So how would you use them? Um, well, I suppose if you wanted to access flow in your life, then you'd pick ginkgo and maybe make a tea with it, or I don't know. Maybe it tells you in the book how to use it. Shall we have a look? What's that one? Flow 21. Let's have a look at that one. In the book and see how. There we go. 21. Ginkgo. So she's got the normal name and then the And it goes by oracle means. If you are challenged in any way, <clears throat> a 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you for being offered hope and the resilience required. I get challenged every day. There is the possibility of achievement if you simply go along with the flow. But you need to be patient as things must take their natural course and time. Although this is the case, balance still has to be found and perhaps some moderation should be practiced to help find it. You may discover that looking more closely at your personal motivations and your recent reactions will lead to a greater understanding. There's a kick in the butt. This is a period of rest and recharge. Could be of value right now. So then we've got botanical description, native to China, ancient tree, lives a thousand years, grows up to 12 metres, distinctive fan-shaped double low bright green leaves, turn yellow in autumn, short catkins, followed by yellow coloured fruit, and then we've got the magical correspondences, so you can use it for business, for dreams, for beauty, love and healing. That's quite diverse. Fertility, longevity and clarity. Dieties, ah, so, oh, I love Celine. Celine is the goddess of the full moon. And Luna, another moon goddess. Oh, well, there you go, satellite moon, sign cancer, that makes sense for the moon. Element water, totally makes sense, doesn't it? It goes with tarot. Then we've got a spell. Oh, look at this. Okay. After soaking dried ginkgo nuts in water, place them in the bedroom to inspire love. How does that work for business then? Hmm. And to enhance and increase your beauty. Plant the nuts to celebrate the birth of a child as it will ensure a long life. Okay, so that's the longevity bit. Ginkgo wood can be made into amulets or pieces carried to secure good health and to instigate healing. It doesn't tell you how to do that though. You can use ginkgo to increase the flow of positive energy in your life while letting go of what you do not need by casting this spell. So we've got a spell for that. Okay. So it's just one spell. Gather together a black permanent marker and paper. Yeah, I can do that. A small handful of ginkgo leaves. Yeah, I can probably do that. So that's, it's not too, um, you know, you've got to like, order stuff off the internet to try and do the spell. <laughs> okay, go to a river or the seashore. Yeah, I can do that. Preferably any moving body of water. Sit and write down the things in your life that you need more movement, flow and energy with. Okay, that, that makes sense, doesn't it? Drop the ginkgo leaves into the water, read out loud what you've written and say, drift and float away and away, set in motion these things that I say. Stand up, throw your arms out towards the water and say away and away the things that I say take these away and away they will stay I think you could actually remember that couldn't you no you can substitute the ginkgo leaves with any other leaf just add a sprinkling of dried ginkgo to each before you toss it into the water if you are nowhere near any body of running water try floating your leaves in a large bowl of water before burying them in the earth so it's quite useful isn't it yeah. So each one has got a spell, but for one aspect. Of the correspondences. You know what it's used for? Freedom. Oh, I like this one. A glass, of a glass of beer or sparkling spring water. Tiny piece of my book, slice of lemon or lime. So it's quite easy. Yeah. That's quite easy, isn't it? I like the fact that it's got the attributes to the planets, the signs and the elements. I do like that. And the deities. Well, there's quite a few there. But if you were working with a deity, you could use this book, couldn't you, to actually connect? Yeah, I like this. I like Oh, look, we've got a glossary at the end. Ah, that's really useful. And smudging the burning of sacred herbs to spiritually cleanse and bless a space, object or person. And she's got a bibliography, so if you wanted to know more, there's a whole bibliography here that you can reference. You go to two pages of it about her. I do do things backwards. 
how to use the cards and guises. So it probably has casting spells with the deck. Other ingredients, focus, close your space, journal. And you can use it as an oracle deck. Uh, select a card a day to explore the deck and bond with the herbs. And the oracle meaning and an affirmation support your day. Oh yeah, okay, so you can use it as an affirmation deck. I like this. Why have I not seen it before? When was it published? Rock Paul. The other day, 2019. So it's been out three years. Ish. I don't know what month it was. I never give the month, so it could be the end of 2019 or the beginning. We don't know. I like this. I like this book. I like the deck. And I think I'm going to be working with it. Yes. I'll let you know how I get on. I did. I will share this actually because I think it might be useful to someone out there. If you're feeling really angry about somebody and you want them, um, you don't want to harm anybody else, that's really not the way to go. But you just want to want them out of your life really. You're just annoyed, you're really, really angry and you want to actually get rid of the anger that you feel towards a situation or towards a person. And I found this really, really useful. So I'm going to give it to you and take it or leave it. But this is, it worked for me. It totally worked for me. So what you do is you write on a piece of paper, what it, whatever it is that's causing you um, a challenge, <laughs> shall we say. Write it on little bits of paper. You tear the paper into little pieces, okay? You put them into an ice cube tray. So, let's get an ice cube tray. Move this out of the way. Okay, so, yeah, so an empty ice cube tray. Sprinkle the bits of paper that you've torn off into your ice cube tray. Pour water on and ice. Put them to, um, into the freezer and ice them. Then go somewhere, it could be maybe a wood, somewhere safe or a wall. Take your ice cubes out and fling them against the wall and get rid of that anger, get rid of that energy. I tell you what, it works a treat. Try it. I couldn't believe it, it was just, <laughs> it really works a treat. Anyway, with that said, thank you for watching and if you like my content and this sort of thing, uh, walkthroughs and my thoughts on decks and how I work with them and little things that I do, and my silliness, um, yeah, it'd be lovely if you could subscribe, help me grow my channel and maybe hit the like button and if you've got anything you want to share with me please feel free to add it in the comments and i will read the, read the comments absolutely and thank you for joining me today and have a great weekend thank you bye